Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So our today's lecture is about uh, uh, the applications of bioinformatics. Uh, I will divide my this lecture into uh, two pieces or two parts. Uh, the first one will be uh, about uh, uh, two or three in, uh, applications and the second will be uh, about uh, uh, the other three uh, applications of uh, bioinformatics. So uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, start from uh, what is bioinformatics. So uh, by word, uh, if you go um, towards the by word definition of uh, bioinformatics, so it is uh, derived from three words, which is bio, info, and matics. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, that bio means uh, biology, info means information technology, and matics means mathematics. So it is uh, a combination of three different uh, <coughs> subjects called biology, information technology, and math mathematics. So <coughs> uh, we can also uh, use uh, uh, so uh, the, by by definition, if you uh, go towards the definition uh, mentioned in uh, this lecture, so it is the mathematical, statistical, and computing method that aims to solve biological problems using DNA, amino acids, uh, sequences, and related information. So, if you remember earlier that I have already discussed that uh, in biology, uh, we usually got a lot of data, um, like for example, uh, you cannot even uh, save the data of a single gene uh, with you in uh, manually on written form. So, uh, uh, like for example, for the, uh, the, the 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 details of gene, the details of proteins, the details of amino acids, the details of, uh, uh, for example, uh, different types of uh, hormones, and a lot of things that are present in the uh, human uh, body or uh, living organism. So, if you go uh, inside and uh, think about that detail, so we uh, we usually get a lot of information uh, in that. So bioinformatics was the first thing that was using three different technologies, uh, three different uh, techniques or tools uh, to collect that data in a specific format and then provide it to the user in a very easy and useful way. So uh, by using mathematics, uh, the, the, to the, the tools of mathematics and the formulas and the calculation uh, tools uh, of mathematics we uh, use to uh, for example collect or count the data and uh, it using information technology we have added that um, uh, that uh, for example information to uh, a specific program or a specific uh, uh, software or you can say to a specific database so uh, this was uh, this was the basic uh, uh, information about bioinformatics that how bioinformatics is helping us in uh, uh, in our daily lives and uh, if you know about uh, different databases as as we have studied earlier so these are all our databases are made with the help of bioinformatics bioinformatics and uh, bioinformatics technology and uh, by bioinformaticians bio, bio so without bioinformatics it was not possible that you can put a lot of data uh, on us on a website or on a database so uh, it is all possible with the help of uh, bioinformatics in the uh, next slide oh, what is the origin and history uh, so i would just uh, uh, go through uh, uh, it in a very uh, fast way because we have already studied uh, the history of bioinformatics in a very detailed way but for studying um, applications of bioinformatics it is very important that uh, what was the previous history and origin of bioinformatics it was discovered over a history ago and uh, the main uh, person behind uh, this was Grieger Mendel who was a uh, uh, geneticist and uh, he is also called as the father of uh, father of genetics. Uh, Mendel illustrated the inheritance of traits could be explained easily and if it is controlled by factors passed down from generation to generation. So if you study about us, uh, uh, if you st are studying about traits it is very difficult for a person to remember all the traits which is transferring from parents to offspring. 
okay so what were the goals of bioinformatics uh, as i as you people already know but for uh, studying the applications we uh, we are in need to study this again the goal of uh, bioinformatics thus is to provide scientists with mean to explain so what was the uh, to to provide scientists with the goal and uh, and the means to explain like for example if you are in need of something you uh, just think of that aim what is the aim of your uh, task and then uh, meanings of explanation normal biological process you want to study by normal biological process and uh, and then uh, and for the uh, saving that information with you malfunctioning uh, malfunctions in these processes which leads to diseases so this was all uh, this was also uh, a part of uh, goals of bioinformatics so that you can find out which protein is uh, having problem in their uh, genome or uh, in this code so this was also a part approaches to improve drug discovery so uh, as i uh, as i uh, told you uh, you people that bioinformatics have discovered uh, has discovered a tool in which you can uh, check your drug uh, like uh, if you are checking on a human because that software is providing you uh, the, the the the, the uh, whole complete uh, human or uh, the human body like environment and then you can add your uh, then you can add your protein to that or your uh, your uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, add your um, protein or structure or uh, anything you can add to the that software it will tell you that how will it react in the human body these are the following uh, reaction, uh, applications of uh, bioinformatics which is uh, molecular medicine micro uh, microbial genome genome application agriculture animals and comparative studies so these were all the applications there are, there are a lot of other applications of bioinformatics but these are the main uh, three or four or five applications of bioinformatics the first one is molecular medicine the first approach of uh, bioinformatics was to produce uh, molecular uh, the medicine on molecular level these molecular medicine preventive medicine and uh, uh, personalized medicines these all are integrated uh, uh, different types of uh, tools and technologies of uh, bioinformatics so uh, what usually we do that uh, we pro we produce a medicine on uh, studying the molecular level of uh, some uh, uh, some animal or some organism or for example humans so every disease has genetic component and, and uh, inherited to body's response to environmental stress which causes alteration in the genome like for example cancer heart diseases and diabetes different environmental stresses produces changes in the genome so what we do we just go deep down in the genome of that organ and the, uh, that human uh, that that person and study that what is the problem in the persons of the uh, in the personal genome of that person that why uh, it is uh, it is uh, uh, getting problematic so we study the genome and uh, compare it with the data the genome of the database and find out where is uh, where the problem is uh, present in the next uh, molecular medicine uh, the completion of human genome means that we can search the gene directly associated with disease to understand molecular basis of the disease, disease more clearly so as i mentioned that uh, earlier in the previous slide that uh, uh, we usually study the genome of a uh, human and find out the, uh, the the problematic genes or the problematic uh, fragments of the dna uh, this knowledge of molecular mechanisms of disease will enable better treatment cures and even preventive tests to be developed so this is uh, the first application of uh, um, um, uh, bioinformatics molecular medicine uh, targets uh, more drug targets personalized medicine preventive medicine and gene therapy molecular medicine include the following four different uh, fields uh, the first one is a uh, drug targets the first one is uh, <coughs> the drug targets uh, what we usually uh, uh, co what we usually uh, do in bioinformatics that for example if you are using some specific drug and uh, you need uh, you for example need <coughs> uh, if you are using some specific drug and uh, you need uh, like uh, you want to study that which part of that uh, medicine is working on uh, on that uh, on the other protein which is present in the human body 
so we we uh, we clear uh, for example you can say that hum uske target ko aur bhi specify kar dete hain for example if you have a drug and you want to go uh, if you want to apply, uh, uh, inject that drug to uh, the human and aap fir kya karte hain ki us drug ke jo aapne apply kiya hai uske target ko aap specify aur mazid kar lete hain theek hai तो हम इसमें टारगेट को स्पेसिफाई करते हैं और भी आसान बना देते हैं ताकि ड्रग को ड्रग को ट्रीट करने में आसानी हो सो देन दीज हाईली स्पेसिफिक ड्रग प्रोमिस टू हैव फ्यूअर साइड इफेक्ट्स इसका क्या होगा सो यू विल गेट अ वेरी फ्यूअर साइड इफेक्ट्स बिकॉज इट विल नॉट डिस्टर्ब द नॉर्मल नेचर ऑफ द ह्यूमन बॉडी एट प्रेजेंट ऑल ड्रग्स इन ऑन द मार्केट टारगेट ओनली अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड ऑफ प्रोटीन सो जितने भी मार्केट में ड्रग्स अवेलेबल हैं दे आर ओनली एबल टू टारगेट ओनली फाइव हंड्रेड प्रोटीन ऑफ अवर ह्यूमन बॉडी सो इन ह्यूमन बॉडी वी हैव थाउजेंड ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोटीन इफ यू कैन टारगेट दोज एज वेल दोज प्रोटीन आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डूइंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्शन एंड फंक्शन सो वाई डोंट वी ट्राई टू टारगेट दोज प्रोटीन एज वेल बट यूजली वट वट इज हैपनिंग ओवर हियर or what is happening around the world is that uh, one protein is uh, for example everyone is targeting one specific protein because it is already studied that's why everyone is targeting that specific protein so personalized medicine this is already discussed this is the study of how an individual genetic uh, inheritance affects the body's response to drugs so what we do in personalized medicine we produce or we develop a drug for the, the for the after studying the genome of a specific person like for example what is uh, uh, what is the genetic code of that person and what type of in uh, what type of drug will suit this person so this is called personalized medicine it is uh, like for example uh, if you produce a specific type of drug for uh, for a single person only so this is uh, the the phenomena of a person uh, at, at at present some drugs fail to make it uh, the mark into the market because a small percentage of clinical patient population show adverse effect to a drug due to uh, sequence variants in their dna so ye bhi bahut achhi baat idhar lagi hai ki for example aapke sath jo market mein jo drugs available hain iske bahut sare patients par adverse effects aa jaate hain मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया कि मार्केट में जितने भी ड्रग्स अवेलेबल हैं दे आर मेड ऑन द मोस्ट कॉमन जीनोम्स जितने भी मोस्ट कॉमन जीनोम्स हैं उनको लेकर इन्होंने ये ड्रग बनाया ठीक है लेकिन अगर फॉर एग्जांपल कोई ड्रग डिस्कवरी करता भी है और उसमें जो है बहुत सारे और मजीद प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं तो वो क्या होता है कि वो जो है उनमें एडवर्स इफेक्ट शो करते हैं today's doctors have trial and error to find best drug uh, to treatment particular patient as those with the same clinical symptoms can show a wide range of response to the same treatment like jo maine bataya hai ki bahut sare same patient jo hain uh, try uh, bahut sare doctors jo hain wo trial and error base pe kaam karte hain लाइक वट वट दे डू के वो जो है एक ही चीज डिफरेंट पीपल डिफरेंट पेशेंट्स को देते हैं तो उसमें जो है इनको पता चलता है कि कौन से कहाँ पे क्या काम हो क्या किसका कौन सा रिजल्ट आ रहा है ठीक है तो विद द पेसेज ऑफ टाइम पे वो जो है वो अपने ड्रग्स में स्पेसिफिकेशन करते हैं लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रिस्क्राइबिंग वन ड्रग एंड 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 गेटिंग रिजल्ट फ्रॉम दैट आफ्टर अ मंथ और मोर तो फिर क्या होता है कि वो उस ड्रग को चेंज कर देते हैं तो ये जो है एक 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 पर्टिकुलर जो है रिस्पांस पे जो है ये लोग ड्रग की ड्रग की एबिलिटी को चेक करते हैं ठीक है इन द फ्यूचर डॉक्टर विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज द पेशेंट जेनेटिक प्रोफाइल एंड प्रिस्क्राइब द बेस्ट अवेलेबल ड्रग थेरेपी एंड डोसेज फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग इन फ्यूचर जो है डॉक्टर्स के पास ये ये पेशेंट्स का जो जेनेटिक प्रोफाइल है वो मौजूद होगा एंड दे विल बी एबल टू प्रिस्क्राइब दैट ड्रग ओनली विच इज अवेलेबल एंड बेस्ट सूटेबल फॉर दैट पर्सन तो ये जो है बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स का एक बहुत अच्छा एप्लीकेशन है सो नाउ वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग दिस इन द सेकेंड पार्ट आफ्टर पर्सनलाइज मेडिसन वी विल कंटिन्यू